Hello students, uh, my name is Mr. B. Ndozi. Welcome again to another session with our computer practice and five lesson. Today we will be looking at mail match, basically as a function in MS Word, but today we will be looking at specifically how does one create a data file. Now for us to be able to do this basically, we will be again looking at a previous question paper, but in this case in no random in no particular order. So the topic basically that says we're looking at it today, it says make use of the mail match function to create a data file using the names and the information in the table below. So we are given a table basically of how basically the of the details of the data file that we need to create. And then after that, we are asked to save the document as question 5a, and we needed to make a, a printout of this. So let us jump straight to it. So the first thing that we needed to do, you needed to open up your MS Word document. Once your MS Word document is opened up, then you will go into mailings tab. Because now a data file it's just the same as creating a new recipient for your mail match so under your mailing tabs in this case previously we used to do it step by step basically using your mail match wizard but the easiest way of doing this whenever you are creating first your recipient you can just go to select recipient then you can just say type a new list use an existing list if you have already created the list so in this case, because it's a new list, so I will say type a, a new list. Now, let us bear in mind that now what you see on top here, these are title, first name, last name, all of this, we call them a field names. But according to the table that we have been given, these are the field names that we needed to use. We needed to use name, date, time, address, and town. So as you can see, basically, none of those basically map all of this. So the easiest way is to customize your, your columns. So the easiest way is just to delete everything that already comes pre-built for this particular feature so that you can add your own field names or you can add your own columns that matches your table that you have been given. So... I am busy now deleting all of this. Now we are going to add a new field name. The first one is name. So we have to type in name. So that is our first field. Then we add another one. Our second one is date. So we add date. We add another one. The next one is time. We add the field time. We add another one. The next one is address. We add the field address. And then another one is town. That is the last one. So now once all of this is added, then you click OK. Now you have field names that corresponds to, to, to your table, basically. Now you are about to capture the entry. Now the first notice goes to are wells date 7 april time 11 a.m then they ask you the way it corresponds with your 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 address they ask you to insert your examination number underneath notice one then the time the town should be linley so name it is the name of the first person is r wells so you click on it r wells Click on the date. The date is the 7th of April. Then the time is 11. Then the address is, now instead of the address, they said we need to insert our examination number. So our examination number, we will insert it. So this will be our temporal examination number. And then the town is Lindley. Now that is our first record. Now to insert our next record, we, we click on new entry. Our second notice goes to S. Bester.
S. Besta. The date is 17 April. Seventeen April, and then the time is eleven twenty. Then the address is now where it says the address. They ask us to type the question five A. So we've typed question five A. Then the next one it is the town. It's Kimberley. Kimberley. Okay, then that is it with our second record. So now we go to our third record. Our third record is A. Simons. A. Simons. A. Simons. Then the date is 27 April. Then the time is the time is eleven forty. Then the address is PO Box One. PO Box One. Then the name of the town is Escott. So this is now our complete set of record that we have been given. So now we, what we need to do is now we can click OK. So by default, it will ask us to save basically. By default, this type of your, 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 your recipient list basically, you will find it or it will be saved by default under my data sources. So we save this as, they asked us to save this as question. 5a so our data list has now been saved now after you we've saved this now they said we must make a printout of it now remember that we saved it under documents under documents you needed to find my data sources then under my data sources there you have it question 5a please remember that always avoid using the file that has a lock on top of it always use the file that is underneath it by default it will be saved using the application microsoft access so we double click to open up our file it tells you basically our file is already in use so we say okay we then we say enable the content there is our table so we can double click to open it up so there is our office address list the the one that we need to send our notice to now for, they've asked us to print this now also they might ask you to print this whether in a landscape or out, they might ask you to print it basically in a in a portrait format so sometimes you just need to go to print preview just to get a feel how your your office address list would look like after it has been printed up so my computer it's a bit slow there so now from here you can choose if whether you want to print in landscape or you want to print in portrait according to the instruction of course so whichever one that they have asked you to use you needed to make sure that basically you use that one and also please you needed to make sure say maybe for example for example for whatever reason you see that for some reason some of your content of your table is not being properly visible you can always come to adjust your your column so that every content basically or, or your your text wrapping basically it's applied so you can adjust your color your columns just to make sure that the content of your entire table basically it is visible so you again you come to print then print preview print preview it gives you a feel of how your document would look like after it's been printed then if you are happy with everything then you go to print then you can print this and submit it to your folder or basically you hand it in as a submission uh, students i hope this particular section has been helpful 
Now, there is another section that is about to come, of which it's a continuation of what we just did. So, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Please, if there are any questions, basically, don't hesitate to ask them, basically, on the, underneath your videos. Please subscribe to YouTube so that at least you can also follow up on these particular videos as we add them on. Thank you very much. Please do enjoy the rest of your day.